others over my pride, over the faults I have in my life. I choose you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So okay, today I'm gonna be doing another one of those videos on my two film list one that you guys suggested and it's been highly requested for some time now yes i'm gonna be showing you guys a nice bridal makeup look today you know when you think about bridal makeup you think about timeless weddings in general you want it to be timeless and as the bride you want to look timeless you want 50 years from now you know you can look back on that picture and say wow you know this was just gorgeous so when you think about the makeup, you don't want anything too dramatic for your wedding day. You want something very nice, neutral, and flawless. That's what we think about when we think about bridal. So as you guys can see, as usual, I came on camera with my brows done already. That's because I do have a very detailed eyebrow tutorial. And I suggest you guys go ahead and check that out. It's very detailed and it will be linked in the description box. What we're going to focus on is the skin. So for moisturizer today, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir, just a little bit, just a tad, not much, not much at all. And I'm going to just pounce this in with the back of my beauty sponge. This will just add to the glow that we want to achieve. So after I apply this, I'm just gonna go in with my primer. Since this is a makeup look that you'll be wearing for you know majority of the day you want to make sure that it stays i feel like using a very good mattifying primer is very essential because that will ensure longevity and it will control the oils you know so i'm gonna go in with my becca um ever matte poreless priming perfecta primer okay and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way if you have super dry skin though I'd recommend going for something not as mattifying because the, this is super mattifying, all right? And you don't want to, you don't want your skin to become like dry, super dry and blotchy. But this a little goes a long way. It's so mattifying. So I'm just rubbing it in. The next step is foundation. So for all my foundation peeps, all the people out there that wear foundation, foundation is a very important step when tapping into bridal makeup because remember, this is what will create, you know, majority of that flawlessness, okay? And finding the perfect match, you know, the perfect consistency for your skin type, all of that is really important. Because as I said before, on that day, you just want to look perfect. If you're doing the makeup yourself, make sure you test out a good amount or you actually t you test out a good amount of different foundations that you like or would like to use for that day. So you know which one is, you know, looks the best on your skin. If you guys need a detailed video on, you know, just techniques or flawless makeup application, I link that down below in my description box, okay? It involves me using foundation and all of that, but today I'm going to skip the step of foundation for myself, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into highlighting, and this is the step that you take right after applying your foundation. So it's pretty much me just moving on from foundation. So let's just pretend that I'm already wearing foundation and now we're going to highlight and for other people who don't already know I don't wear foundation like religiously because I don't like too much product on my skin and I live in the tropics it's really hot the less product the better today for concealer I'm using my it's you skin perfect in HD concealer and this is in the shade tan all right and I'm just going to apply this to all the high points of my face, the, the, the parts that I want to bring forward. Taking my damp beauty sponge. Now, when it comes on to, you know, just blending everything, you want to make sure that everything is very blended, like 
no lines no harsh lines are there at all or anything so sometimes you know if the sponge isn't getting everything you can just take a flat top, a flat top brush like I'm doing here and just tap on the edges just tap on the edges and make sure that everything looks seamless after highlighting I go in with um, setting the area after I set the highlighted portions I move on to just balancing out the rest of my face with a face powder that is closest to my skin tone All the specific products used to achieve this flawless bridal look will be listed in my description box. All right, so for, for bridal, I like when the skin looks more bronzy rather than too contoured. When I say contour, I don't like, you don't want it to look too harsh in any way at all. You just want it to look airbrushed. What I'm going to go in with to kind of bronze up the skin a bit is my, my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit. Okay. And I'm going to go in with the contour shade, but I'm taking it on this fluffy brush. So this is my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. And I'm just going to start from like up here near the top of my ears and kind of run the brush in a circular motion. Now this brush is very large and fluffy so it will not give me too much like of a defined line on the face or anything. It's just creating warmth and that's what we want. I usually take whatever is left on the brush for the forehead kind of just sweep it and yeah now since recent times I still do bake but I don't go overboard with it anymore and for some looks I haven't been baking because I realized that when I don't bake my skin looks a little bit more skin like and less powdery and so today I'm not going to bake and remember we want to look more dewy and glowy and just radiant so you know we don't want to pack on too much powders on the skin I mean we've already been using a lot so yeah we can definitely just keep this step off baking today so all right so for the eyes you know it's time for the eyes so you see it's just a matter of just remembering the steps and the techniques it's really not hard at all because look it's pretty simple right so when you think about bridal makeup and the eye look, you think about neutral tones, okay? You want to keep it very natural looking. You, you really want to keep it more on the, on the earthy side. Unless the case is that the bride requests something dramatic. Because I've done brides, I've worked with brides in the past where they want a dramatic eye look, you know? They don't want the regular, they don't want the traditional, you know, neutral eye glam and that's okay because everybody's different and that's fine but today we're just gonna keep it on the on the standard level of bridal makeup so the first thing you want to start off with any eye look is your transition color the palette that I'm gonna be going in with today is my deck of scarlet um, my deck of scarlet edition number four palette very neutral tones I'm gonna start off with this blusher as our transition. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I do not really want to deepen the crease anymore. Right now we just want to focus on the lid. So the palette I'm going to take for this is my The Magic by Juvia's Place. And the shade that I'm going in with is Kessie. And that's this shade here. So just patting this on to the lid so we get the best color payoff. 
you could even make it a little bit more muted if you like these colors are so pigmented as you see i didn't even base the eyelids now i'm just gonna go on the edges because we don't want a definite edge like that and i'm gonna take this small brush to kind of just feather it out time for liner because that's literally going to be it for the shadows for right now for me so it's almost like the border of the eyes I should say when you apply liner I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line a bit with the same color we used in the transition area. What this does, it helps to add some depth to the eyes. I'm not gonna apply any more eyeshadow to the eyes. This is literally the eyeshadow look. All you need to do right now is apply your lashes. No, as a, again, it all depends on the person. Everybody is different. Some people might want to be a little bit more flashy with their lashes, some may not. And as I say, I'm just keeping this on the standard level. Okay, this is just a simple bridal look. And some people might even go simpler. This is just my take on a simple um, bridal look. There, it could be simpler, but this is what I chose to do this time around. I'm gonna go ahead, pop these on, and come right back. Yes, I do have a detailed eyelash tutorial, so please be sure to go ahead and check that out. It is linked in the description box. Didn't apply any mascara, so now I'm just gonna blend in my lashes with those fuzzies with this mascara from Black Radiance. And for me, these lashes are pretty simple. I'm going to just spray my face, set everything, and you know just make everything look more skin like by using my it's you setting spray what i also like to do is take my damp beauty sponge kind of just pounce it on the skin gently so the the skin just soaks up all of that product this is when i move on to highlighting so i'm not gonna make my highlighter too blinding today because you do want to keep everything more on the subtle side i'm gonna go ahead and use my laura gilla new york um, baked gelato swirl in gilded honey i'm just gonna move on to lips now for the lips you want to do something very subtle so i'm just gonna go glossy and when it comes down to brides i just prefer gloss glosses for my brides i mean it all depends because some people are concerned that after they kiss you know their lippy is going to rub off and all that stuff so some do opt for a mattified lip today we're gonna go in with a gloss to just keep things very simple and i'm just gonna use i'm gonna go for something pinky yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, Sigma Lip Vex in Tender. And it smells so good. It smells like cake batter. I'm gonna combine this with another lip gloss, which is more neutral and not as pink. And this is my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Guys, this is the finished look. Yes, I know, pretty simple, right? But you guys asked for it, so I delivered. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was informative enough for you. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumb up. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. And I'll list all the products I used to achieve this look in the description box. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video today and I'll see you guys in my next one. So until then, I'm your girl Petite. Bye.